through the entire roster, but landing on Roy, Verdant Roy. Ooh. Exciting. Look, Fire Emblem I'm, Flames. I'm thinking it's going to be uh, real green. Looking uh, very green at the moment. No, but this is a magical matchup, not only because it's an illusion turning into a frog, but because these two are so uh, explosive in their play. Well, this is the kind of frog you kiss that might turn into a prince Whoa. because just a gem you of a know. fighter. Really just somebody that you have to be so respectful of. And Fact. bringing out this swordy who's going to check your fundamentals at every turn is going to be very important for Illusion to be firing off. Was getting some warm up against Jin earlier. I was watching them okay. in the room uh, doing their thing. So going to be uh, already oh, so kind of warmed up so in the warm. So somehow the That's yeah. so crazy that you say that. Good uh, on-site uh, investigation by Austin. You know, uh, on-site journalist. On-site. Be, be in the building right on top of the Pokeball. We're catching a nice neutral exchange, and I love to see them not afraid to really sit there, duke it out, and make sure that they're getting their miles in because this is going to be a very uh, profitable situation for the Roy most times, but Illusion's the one that's coming out ahead. Yeah, this might seem obvious, but I figured out why it always goes down to right here. Because if you go too far to the left, then you can get hit to the left. If you go too far to the right, you can get hit to the right. So a lot of our action happens with two competitors meeting in this center of the Pokemon. Man. And someone being captured. It's like they're fighting for center stage dominance. Facts. And they can push their opponent out from the inside. If you don't know, now you know. Wow. That's really breaking down the metagame. <laughs> Oh man, Nikki, making sure to get his analytical gameplay down, and it is yes, now 50% that Illusion has in the upper hand, but that special not going to be the kill. Wait not a second. Going to be Wait a second. Little Zare action, but let's him back to sleep. I'm not really sure about that. That could have been a kill. Yeah, looking for some bread and butter jab. Not going to transition into a fair or bear for the time being. What is happening? Okay, so Illusion hits a little parry there, and he tries to get the kill. It's getting a little greedy right now, even though Illusion has the lead. F tilt, but no hilt. Possibly could have killed with the crit, but going to be a stabilization of this neutral by Illusion for the time being. Not going to be a disadvantage that kills in a forward throw. Definitely doesn't kill by this Roy, but so much pressure, so much quick frames that he has at his disposal. And Affair will be the first blood on the board. It's so crazy because Illusion absolutely has the lead. It's about 45% of the lead going to 50. One whiff up B and Frog just turns it on, turns on the fire. And now getting extra credit, that's killed. Yeah, momentum-based gameplay being put to the test here, and that is a nice rebuttal by Illusion, exactly as he needs it. You do not want this Roy starting to run away with your percents when he has that stock advantage, so. Illusion slowing down the pace, gonna go to the blaster, gonna try to stall out. I know it's one of uh, her best moves, but I think Frog's kind of keen to it at the moment. So maybe Illusion throws something else that he's got in the bag for a little bit before going back to that. Ooh. It's cut in half though. Come on. Very greedy air dodge in that was fully punished there. Was possibly thinking he would have landed on the platform and tried to tech it, but not enough knockback in that situation was already able to air dodge and that is a stock yeah, after that, that was some stock. big reads that came out. You were saying earlier like yo man the little bit of practice it was absolutely shown there but now it's starting to take over the players starting to take over. Yeah Frog understanding what uh, wasn't working and then choosing to rely on what does work and also just catching some big reads that F smash is not something you often catch on someone as quick and slippery as Illusion on the Zero Suit Samus so great job by Frog Double down Love. kill. Okay, but like you were saying, the response coming out from Illusions is a stock down, but isn't playing like it at the moment. Oh, you're in the ground. You in the sky. You die. Beautiful stuff coming out from Frog uh, and Illusions to get that second kill. I love what Illusions is doing, definitely being elusive. The elusive man. 
You thought that was him, but no, that was an illusion. Not going to be who you thought it was. Whoa. Now we have a big uphill battle, though, from Illusion, but doing the work that needs to be done, almost getting a nice up air stream there to start to connect, ladder this Roy towards the sky. This is still true. That, that hit hurts, but at the end of the day, this character is so explosive. Illusion is such an explosive player. Not one to take a couple hits on the chin either without responding. Has him up in the sky. Log at the magic Walk number. Up shield. Walk up shield, jump shield. That you can see Frog definitely shielding a lot more. See him really starting to get annoyed by these hopes and prods that are coming out from Illusion. Gets his own big he, he strike brought it, in response. He brought it all the way back off Steepa. Look at that as Illusion's slowly starts to fall to the sky. You see 130 to 99. One combo away, honestly. One combo away from a big lead here in Winner's Corner. And it. that is a follow off the edge Woo! there by Illusion. Had the work on this Roy ready to go. Had the mental fortitude he needed because Frog was really bringing that heat time and time again. But Illusion taking it all in, having the chin that he needed to withstand that fire and firing back. Yeah, I mean, Frog's not going to retreat you on that, but that's absolutely true. I, I feel like Illusion had to stay in his own head because he had that matchup with Jin earlier. And then, yeah, obviously. Oh, oh, you thought you won? Well, taste a little bit of this Bayonetta. Going to go blow for blow right here if I had to guess, man. Illusion shaking it off and knows that this is a reset, different pace that I'm going to have to play at, and I need to respond to this as this is Frog's Bayonetta, honestly one of the yeah. most respected Bayonettas but across both the most recent Smash titles. At the end of the day, though, this is almost a better match. At the end of the day. Look, see, everything is being responded to. This is probably who Illusion thought that he was going to have to face. And now you in the ground. And I put it down. Ooh! At the end of the day, it will be Frog's comfort he's able to lean upon. <laughs> I'm gonna get off of this uh, platform if that's okay with you. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> but yeah, so far so good for Illusions. It's really gonna be up to Frog, like I said, the player to go that extra mile. But yeah, I mean, the Roy was kind of a call out, and the fact that uh, uh, Illusions handled the Roy and even got him to switch to what some would say is his main. Yeah, Frog and Main just yeah, don't those work out too well. Oh, I like the charge up there. Frog and Shield, though. That's the friends today. That's gold. You have to, you have to. All Illusion oh. wants. All Illusion wants is that one hit, two hits. To look for that combo to get you out the stage into the skybox. So. If, if Bayonetta did, didn't get the buffs, what was that? To make her that disgusting S tier, you know, Magic. auto pick, you know, carrying character that she was in Smash 4, but did get some significant buffs right at the end of the game that really, you know, keyed her into her strengths. Jab starting to kill a little bit faster on the witch time, so going to be. Frog on the best iteration of this character that Smash Ultimate had. So, so uh, Illusion's brain has been on W City, right? Like, I want to win. I don't care how I win. This might be a very, this might be a slow stop, but never mind. Illusion has to activate now because he did not have the time to win from there. Yeah, and Frog getting his number. When he's playing on the defensive, it looks like Frog knows which, which punches to hit. Yeah. where to attack Illusion from to really get what he needs. So if we do not see Illusion starting to play aggressive and getting away with those nice offensive opportunities he was having before, uh, you know, he will start to fall behind in this pace. You know when you see the bay Bayonetta bring out the taunt, it's kind of hard. Like, you have to have a certain type of field. Yeah, he's hitting everything that he wants. A little bit drops off there, all those jabs oh, in the man. air, but... Just really the frog show here on stock two walks away from yeah. the pressure and walks down the back. walks down the aisle there and uh, you just see the more confidence coming out of frog on the stairs. The boy was looking a little, you know, at toward the end at least it was looking a little walk up shieldy because he had the lead here. You see taunts, you're seeing fresh walks, you're seeing into it right now. And uh, these characters are pretty similar body space. So that's the one thing that we have to go for. 
here. And very athletic as well. Both of them able to do very interesting Nimble. movements. Yeah. Yes. Move around in ways that one of not, them, no other pick characters in the cast. One of them a witch that kills demons. That's the crazy part. Shout out Bayonetta. I think she's getting a new game as well coming out soon. So. Like Slayonetta, one down, four illusions, one to go. Going to get back to stage as well, so looking for extra ready here. Nice there. That's all he's going to get, and that's all he got on the last stock was 5%, so can't feel wavered here. Has to stick to his guns, has one game, doesn't want to go to a game three, I know that. Well, Zero Suit is sticking to guns. I think that's about all that she has. But she got a, she got guns on her feet, Asti. Rocket boosters, guns, gats, glizzies, whatever it is that you want to bring to the table. But Payonetta, no stranger to gunplay and uh, no stranger to these amazing strings. Bringing string. a 74% out of thin air. You know who else got aerial strings, though? Oh. Does get that last hit, too. A parry on the, the platform. Yo, parry on the platform. Now. Ooh, get in the ground. I oh, need some we platypus did. noises. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Phineasian Bird noise. Oh, okay. Back air looking clean. Illusions. Almost has this one, man. It just has to put together this one combo. Yep, there something might... like that, but that was a Wait. massive mash. Frog going sicko Wait. mode on that. You're at 78 and that's your mash? Control stick was oh getting broken in half God. by Frog and he's able to shake that game off and get himself that stabilization of this set, which Illusion was looking like he had handily. Yeah, I think Frog just, you know, got a second look on life after that mash and then DI was a little bit sus, I believe, and then just goes the extra mile, and now we're sitting in the 1-1. One, one. Jones is gonna go zero to Samus, and then, you know, it's respect. Honestly, it's respect that Frog is going this character right now. Yeah, not... That's how Illusion should see it. Not going to that any That really got sat down. Not going to anything Three, like, uh... Two, yeah. Crazy, no, yeah, no yeah, randoms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just out to, here really. You can tell both of these players trying to win this. Really playing Smash Bros. Trying to get into winner semis at least because this game right here is for exactly those marbles. Going to be Battlefield that we're about to as well, which has that Halo plat. Matters so much for Illusion. He's going to be able to bring the Frog up there, possibly bury him, hit some of those up Bs from the top, which will be undeniable kills at low percentages. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to cut you off, but I really feel like. Top of the platform, top of the board too. Looking for stocks here, both of them. Shark in the stocks. Shark in the platform. Sharkisha. Ooh. On the stocks. Y'all forgot about Sharkisha. What happened? She should be famous on TikTok right now. Ooh. Just saying. Trying to put on for Ooh. I put on for my city. Vegas, put on. Vegas. Hey, what is Utah chant? They just go, Utah. I, even, I, don't even, I couldn't even think of a chant for Utah. Because yeah. I would never chant for Utah. <laughs> Whoa! Shots fired! Oh, yeah. Vegas bread, baby. Oh, God. Vegas born. Straight to the top and the star KO. Bling. Beautiful stuff from Illusions. I, I would say this is a, a bracket demon of his, but at the end of the day, like, this is everyone's bracket. Frog will be anywhere. They didn't give it Sunday, but today is Friday, baby. Friday. Knockdown 51. We're in winner's quarters between two of Vegas' finest here, and it's really down to the wire. I mean, Illusion starting off with a great lead here. It is his counter pick as well, so that's what you want to see. Will be important for Frog to figure out how to get underneath the skin oh, of this zero the suit. But that is the punish of a century. Yeah, massive fist. There's no spot dodging a massive fist from the from the victim hell. So unlucky there. But I, I really like what Illusion was doing up into before that point, and uh, just needs to stay on the gas here because Frog is looking for creative ways. See, just walk up shield. Might have to. You know, might have to grab bag a little bit, but every move that Frog has is being absolutely shut down by that upbeat. Yeah, that is one of the best moves in the game. An out of shield option, a kill confirmed. I like that. Dude, I don't know Anti -air. why. Bayonetta's always seemed like they're playing games, man. 
Like, it just doesn't seem like it's real life to them. They just, I mean... I hope that everyone feels like they're playing games when nah, they're playing this game. Nah, not Bayonetta mains. Bayonetta mains, they on some other stuff, man. Okay. We're sitting about dead even now, as you mentioned. Some other stuff being applied to the wound of Illusion after a great lead. Yeah, a big lead was absolutely surmounted by Frog, and now we see slaps come out. Back throw. This neutral game from Illusion not wanting to make a mistake here. It's absolutely chess from this point on. Yeah, an unfortunate, unforced error previously was, was what lost him that stock and lost him the lead that he had over Frog here. So, going to now be on the winner's side. Stock for Illusion looking to respond here because Frog sits at 118. Frog. A little bit of special action, but that up he will kill. We will sit dead even here in winner's quarters. Yes, sir. Absolutely responds with a little ribbon of his own, and uh, Illusions just has to stay on the gas. Like I said, he has to keep it going. Scoop, scoop. Frog has been walking up shield. Frog has been walk up, you know, very uh, passive at the moment. Oh, okay, not that a, not Barry would have buried, I would have jumped out of this chair, yeah, but Illusion close. gonna have to keep going. Not done until the work is finished, and it is 68% on Frog, who is definitely fighting a little bit panicky here, looking and grasping. If he does overreach at any time, Illusion will be able to find something, but he for the time the being, he's got him up! He read the move, but not at the top. Beautiful, so close from Frog. He gets, almost got that kill from the top, but Illusion's back on the remix. Nice. Fights for that center stage. Has control. Going to evade the first attack to come out from Frog. Now we are in he one exchange so from it bad. truly being anybody's game. Tries to read the get up from the ledge. I'm sorry, I'm being so dramatic with it, folks, but this is a little dramatic to me. But this is Winner's Quarters, it. and that's Illusion the with drama. the Game 3 win. That is a 2-1. That is the War Room come up. They have surmounted one of the biggest opponents on this winner's side, and that is Illusion taking that Zero Suit Samus forward into semis. Yeah, I didn't see him use that gun too much. He didn't overuse it. He wasn't looking for too, uh, too much crazy stuff. He knew that a lot of his movement had been walk-up shield, runaway shield, and at the end of the day, Illusion's clutch is